Hey, it's Gavin here. I hope you're well. It's Monday, so we're going to do a little bit of a metabolic blast, or metabolic Monday as I like to call it. I'm going to do 12 minutes, four exercise, three rounds. So it's going to be a goodie. Nice and simple, nothing too crazy, partly because I'm a little bit jet lagged. I was in San Diego last week, so not quite caught up. I got back just over the weekend and my head is still not quite with it yet. So if you've been to San Diego, actually, I don't know if you've seen the scooters. They have electric scooters everywhere. So it's good fun to have a little blast in them. You download an app, put a bit of money in it, and you can bomb around on a scooter. So that was fun. But now I'm back, and I want to give you a live workout because I've been a little bit rubbish on the live workout. So I'm getting back in it, making sure that you're on the straight and narrow, and we've been Monday, what better way to start the day. So we're going to kick things off in a few seconds. Let me just get a timer up and running. We're going to go one minute on each exercise. If you need to have a rest at any time, then that's absolutely fine. But otherwise, try and stick with me. Our first exercise is a full body extension. So the full body extension is this move here. So kind of ski jump position. We're here. We whip our arms up nice and high and then bring them back down. If you can get on the toes, great. That's what we want. Arms are weightless, and we're going to inject a bit of speed to try and get that heart rate up, try and boost your metabolism. So, are you ready? Let's do this. So, one minute starts now. So, here we go. So, bring them up. And let's say if you can get onto the toes, great. Otherwise, you can just stay on the heels. But it's all about trying to pick up that pace, keep your head looking forward. So, I'm keeping it as a simple one here. I'm just staying on the heels here. But if you can do, come up. Up and down, so that's where you get that full body extension, that total body extension, that's what some people call it. I'm also gonna stay on the heels, keep it simple today. Up and down, nice and quick. So arms are weightless, shove your butt back and make sure your back stays straight, that's what we want. So whip them up, here we go. So this is one of those exercises that you think, okay, that doesn't look like much, but if you inject that pace, really try and pump the arms up and down. You can definitely get your heart rate up. So it's quite low impact. So we're looking good so far. Keep on it. Breathe it out as you come to the top. And relax. Moving into the next exercise. We're going to do a squat with a toe tap. So what you're going to do in this position, come down, up, tap, your shin, your heel, wherever you can reach down to. We'll make sure you get a good squat. We're up and down. Spring it out of this one. Up we come. Now, if you're watching this, maybe you're watching the replay, maybe you're watching live, you just hopped on now. Make sure you hit that like button. If you can't do this workout now, make sure you hit the share button because that will share it to your feed, your page, so that you can come back later and do it with me. So keep strong. Sit on those heels. Spring out of it. We've got 20 seconds to go. Up and down. Here we go. So we're living the dream. It's Monday. Here we go. Bring that metabolism up. Get your heart rate up. Try and burn some of that old belly fat. Two, one, boom. Okay, from there, we're gonna down to the ground, slow crossbody mountain climbers. So I'll show you what it looks like. Now you can do this on a table or chair, just to take some of the weight off if you struggle with that sort of thing. But we're here. It's good control. And then if you can go quicker, you're more than welcome to. But just to control the tempo. Nice and easy. So far, so good. So working the core here. That little cross towards the knee. Trying to keep the abs pulled up. Control the breath. Make sure you don't hold your breath at any point. Got 12 seconds left here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up. All right, next one. All right, we're going to try warrior jump. All right, warrior jump. Feet together, hands together overhead. We're just going to drop down and spring back up, okay? If you can't do this exercise, what I recommend is a step. So here, you're down, up, down, up. Got it? All right, let's go. 
So I'm always trying to give you those other options to make sure that you can keep moving. And that's it. So if you're doing this workout with me now, you should feel the heart rate coming up. Should be breathing a little bit heavier, but that's what we want. So smile, enjoy it. Sink your butt right into this one. Keep your head up, weight onto the heels. There we go. Looking good out there. Come on, big push, good control. Time check for you, two, one. All right, so that's one round done. We have two more rounds. All right, so it's back to the full body extension. Remember, ski jump position, arms in place. Whip them up, up on the toes if you can. Otherwise, stay on the heels with me. So remember this workout is only 12 minutes, but we want your best effort all the way through. <clears throat> I wanna make sure it's worthwhile, you know what I mean? 12 minutes is not a lot of time, but it's about the quality. So you're putting in some serious effort, whilst at the same time being safe with it. Come on. Kind of if you imagine a scale of one to 10, or 10 is your maximum, you know, on the floor, on your back, not having a good time. So we wanna be around about seven, maybe pushing an eight, especially towards the end of this workout. That's where I want you, okay? All right, next up, squat with the toe tap. So we're here, squat down, bring it up. Now, it's up to you how hard you push yourself. Only you know how hard you're working here. So if you can feel you can go a little bit more, a little faster, then you're more than welcome to. Then again, if you're struggling, that's okay too. Sometimes you just gotta take a few seconds and get back with it. So you don't necessarily have to keep with me. Come on now, bringing that foot up, ping, tap. You got this. 15 seconds left on the clock here. Come on, keep going, keep going. Don't stop now. Stand tall, bring that knee up, three, two, one. All right, down to the ground, that crossbody mountain climber. So good control, up to you how fast you go. I want good control, this is a core exercise, whilst trying to keep the heart rate up that little bit higher than it would be normally. <clears throat> keep those abs tense as you bring the knee up. Hands just underneath the shoulders, 30 seconds to go. <clears throat> Starting to feel this one now, 20 seconds to go. We're trying to tense the abs as you bring that knee up. Just trying to switch them on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Now we go. Back up on your feet. All right, it's the warrior jumps again. And remember, if you can't do the jump to the step burden, so you squat, hands come up, hands down, up. So this is an easier option for you. Okay, if you can do that one, great. Maybe you can do this one too. So it's a squat, jumping jack combo. Just make sure you sit on the heels as you land, you push your butt back. So we're here, you gotta get here to this position, back in good shape, weight on the heels, hop it back up, okay? Make sure you keep that back in good shape, head up. All right, come on. Let's get those hands high. Sink low into that squat. Got one more round to come after this. One more round. <clears throat> Last bit of effort on this one. Three, 
two, one. All right, if you need to, grab a sip of water. Last round, so full body extension, set it up. We're here, ski jump, hands back. Whip those hands forward and let's go. Remember, they wanna be weightless, just flowing up and down. Head looking forward all the time. Come on. So remember what I said earlier, you wanna think about that scale of one to 10, 10 being your, you know, really top max. We wanna look for around a seven, an eight, maybe towards the end of this workout. So we're gonna start to push it a little bit, pick up the pace, especially if you're not near that seven yet. Come on, strong, back straight. <clears throat> little check on the time, four, three, two, one. All right, squat and tap. So get ready, feet a little bit wider than the shoulder part, toes pointing out, sink into that squat, spring up, tap. Here we go. Just powering through like a jack in a box. Up, bring that knee out. Come on, you got this. Up and tap, up and tap. That's what we want. Come on, if you're just tuning in, make sure you hit that like button, say hello. Let me know what's going down. And if you can't do this workout now, make sure you share it, save it for later. 20 seconds to go. Come on. Legs are getting tired, I know. Got to spring out of this one. Boom, boom. Let's get up and at it. Seven seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Two, and one. All right, going down to the deck. Crossbody man climbers, remember if you can't do them on the floor, hands on a table or a chair, that's fine too. All right, hands in position, underneath the shoulders, let's go. So remember, you wanna be at least a seven out of 10. So it might mean you need to pick the pace up a little bit now. So notice I'm going a little bit quicker, still bringing that knee across each time. Looking to tense the abs. 30 seconds to go on the clock. <clears throat> Come on. Sir. Four minutes and 20 seconds left total. Come on. <clears throat> 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last exercise. Remember, you can do the walk version. So here, up, down, up. Otherwise, jumping with me right now. Hands overhead, hop down. Let's go. Here we go. Big, big effort. Come on. Looking at that seven or eight out of 10. Gotta push yourself now. Home straight. Come on, should be out of breath. Push that body. Push your mind. Get low. Lost my rhythm for a second there. Come on. Big finish now. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! All right, deep breaths. Great job. Wow. Simple, very, very simple routine. But if you're pushing yourself, you can see how effective it can be. And just 12 minutes, okay? So, none of this half an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes plus. It's all about quality. And with something like that, you don't necessarily 
dread the workout. So when everybody's doing these hit routines, um, you know, CrossFit things like that, which don't get me wrong, are great. But if you're not at that level, you'll soon dread those workouts. So sometimes it's better keep them short. You know, things that you know, routines that fit into your lifestyle. So if you've kids, family, you work long hours. Sometimes it's not always possible to get into a gym or even get into a good routine of, of going to a place like that. Sometimes it's just better. Short workout, intense, intense for you, okay? Not somebody else. It's finding your sort of effort level and making sure you push yourself, okay? All right, enough of me jibber jabbering. Let's stretch it out a little touch. Okay, so pushing those heels down into the ground. We're all done for today. Now, if you're just tuning in, you're just catching the end of this one. We did a good workout, only 12 minutes long. So make sure you share it. Hit that live notification as well. And then you'll find out when I'm doing my next one, which by the way, is Thursday, okay? Reach it out one side, over to the other. I'm gonna wind it all up. So hopefully you can feel your heart rate coming down now. Your breathing is starting to become a bit more, more normal. All right, hip flexors here, push. Hip forward now, look at the right angle in the front leg. You're gonna reach up, stretch across slightly and push your hips forward that little bit more. Back down, flip it round. Here, hips forward, reach up high. Now if you're just tuning in where you are, finishing up, as you can tell, we're stretching out, we're all done here. So, make sure you rewind, follow along, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it just like I did. All right, a couple more to finish up. We're gonna go traditional squat stretch here. Knees together, push your hips forward. If you can't do this standing up, you can do it lying, lying down on the floor. Absolutely fine. And the other side. Again, knees together, push your hips forward. You're gonna get a better stretch out of that. All right, and roll those shoulders out because we are all done. Now, if you enjoyed that one, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you tune in next time, Thursday, 12 p.m. UK time. So I shall see you then. All right, bye for now and take care.